Happy birthday. No, I don't like that. That's why you're Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Miss October. Happy birthday. You're getting so old. old. Okay. okay. Okay, listen, guys. Let me tell you something. That is my actual pet peeve. So if I go to a restaurant and you sing happy birthday to me, I'm going to be embarrassed. And right. Like, and like pee my pants. Yeah, public singing actually makes me cringe from my spinal column to the back of my neck bone. So <laughs> um, that actually kind of cringed me out, but it was worth it because I know how much you love it. I love you. Happy birthday. You've been awesome for 32 years and you still look so beautiful. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. She's still young, everybody, but she's my old lady now. Uh-huh. It's a good day. It's Game of Thrones day. Yeah. This mic's kind of jacked. Yeah, fix it up. Fix it up. It, it's Game of Thrones day. It's Game of Thrones day. Episode 7 and 8. Ooh. The Broken Man. Is this the ship Thousand building? ships, yeah. Oh my gosh, y'all are on it. And y'all painting them? Imagine building a thousand ships and then having to battle. I know. <laughs> I'll be tired as mess. My offspring better be fighting this battle. Oh, that's not a ship. Yeah, we were way off. <laughs> That's not even the iron people. Okay, we gotta shut up. I know, sorry guys. He's talking too much. Hey, how's it going? He's on hot rod. Oh, just and you look, come on. He ain't working hard enough. He's got too much energy. <laughs> yeah, who is this fella? What? <gasps> oh! He made it! Yeah, he's good. Dang. But he's just building houses now? <laughs> yeah, he done ran off and found him a nice community to be part of. That's kind of sweet. So that answers the question, but hey. What do we always say? Confirm your kills. Yeah, right? if you don't confirm the kill, they're probably still out there. That's why, I, that's guys, genuinely, I live by that rule. That's my thought. Vladimir Bolton might still be alive. That's why I'm thinking Stannis could come up somewhere. I didn't see it. And when you don't see him burn the people, could they come back as a White Walker? You don't know. I don't know. You don't know. Are you excited? Are you anticipating it hard? I'm so nervous. Not chopping right. I don't like when guys chop like that. <clears throat> In all my days, I've never seen a man swing an axe like that. How many men did it take to cut you down? Just one. He must have been some kind of monster. He was a woman. Oh. <laughs> so he thinks he got his heart broke. But he re he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth. <laughs> he's being honest. You know, like a little brawn right there. You see that? Mm -hmm. I think some of the men are a bit afraid of you. I'm used to it. Aww. When I found you, I thought you'd been dead for days. You were really like, oh. You were stinking already. <laughs> and you had killer. bugs all over you, and bone was coming through right there. I was going to give you a proper burial, and then you coughed. Nearly sh myself. <laughs> I reckoned you were going to die by the time I loaded you on the wagon, but you didn't. Now, I reckon you'd die a dozen more times over the next few days, but you didn't. What kept you going? Eight. There's a reason you're still here. God's on. Don't be you yet. Yeah? yeah, you see his necklace? I've heard that before. He seemed like a religious man. Man was talking about a different god, though. Well, maybe he was right. I don't know much about the gods. Oh, never mind. You're in the wrong line of work. Oh, there's plenty of pious sons of who think they know the word of God or gods. I don't. I don't even know their real names. I mean, maybe it is a seven point of sorrow, though. So. Or maybe it's the old gods. Or maybe it's the Lord of Light. What matters? I believe, is that there's something greater than us. And whatever it is, it's got plans for Sandor Clegane. Oh, he knew his full yeah, name? name drop. You didn't know me back in my time. You don't know the things I've done. I've heard stories. If the gods are real, why haven't they punished me? Maybe they have, Scarface. I know. They have. And you had to work for Joffrey. That's hell. And Brianna Tart beat your ass, <laughs> <laughs> didn't she? Dang near killed you. <laughs> beat you to a pulp, bro. Your grace, what are we reading today? The Nosy. Book of the Mother, Your Holiness. Chapter 3, verse 12. As water rounds the stones, smoothing, smoothing what was jagged, so does a woman's love. A mother sings her son to sleep. You learn quickly. Yeah, there are some who know every verse of the sacred text, but don't have a drop of the mother's mercy in their blood. And savages who can't read at all, who understand the father's wisdom. For years, I pretended to love the poor, the afflicted. I never loved them. They disgusted me. They are hard to love. The poor disgust us because they are us. They show us what we'd look like without our fine clothes, how we'd smell without perfume. He's not dressing like a harlot anymore, you see? Yeah. The king mentioned that since your reunion, you haven't joined him in the marriage bed. <laughs> no. You have a duty, your grace, to your husband, your king, your country, to the gods themselves. It's just... The desires that once drove me no longer do. Congress does not require desire on the woman's part, only patience. <laughs> the king must have an heir if we are to continue our good work. 
Forgive me. Sometimes the true path is hard to find. Hard to find and harder still to walk upon. But you've made great progress. Did you just touch your leg? I don't know. Follows your lead. My Ooh. grandmother. Yes. The Queen of Thorns is a remarkable woman, a strong woman, and an unrepentant sinner. You must teach her the new way, you as she taught that. you the old. Or I fear for her safety. Yeah, you ain't taking Body her. Soul. Does it move or talk? I want to speak with you alone. Scepter Unella has been my true friend and counselor. Oh, this is madness. <laughs> that would be crazy. That'd make me so mad. You're not in your sanctuary now, my dear. All I have to do is whistle and my men will stroll in here and bash you about until I tell them to stop. If I tell them to stop. <laughs> Grandmother, please. <laughs> what have they done? <laughs> you marched against the High Sparrow, against the faith. We marched for you. The gods could have punished you and father, but they didn't. They showed mercy. What about your brother? What mercy did they show him? Loris's only hope is to confess his crimes. If he does, the faith will allow him to return to High Garden. He'll have to renounce his name and title. Have you lost your mind? And live his life as a penitent. He is the heir to High Garden, the future of House Tyrell. He can begin again. As a mindless fanatic as a free man what you will leave for high garden today there is no law that says you must stay here i am the queen it is my duty to serve my husband the king but you should leave grandmother your place is at home i will never leave you never you must go home find comfort in prayer and good works the mother watches over us all. She's like so she's warning her. Doing, yeah, she's yeah. doing what she's got to do, right? But I don't know how much she believes mm -hmm. this, and I don't know how much she just loves her grandma too. At the end of the day, you know. So she might really believe. She's hard to read, so. kinda. Marjorie. Seven blessings to you, grandmother. Shall we pray? See. Hmm. Hmm. So, yeah, oh, it's, it's a rose. rose. I haven't forgotten. <clears throat> so we fight with you, King Crow, when the time comes, and we meant it. This isn't what we agreed to. These aren't White Walkers. This isn't an army of the dead. This isn't our fight. If it weren't for him, none of us would be here. All of you would be meat in the Night King's army, and I'd be a pile of charred bones just like Mance. Dwindle, what's baby. left of us? And if it's better than this, none. We're gone. Dozens of tribes, hundreds Aww. of generations. Be like we were never there at all. We'll be the last of the free folk. That's what'll happen to you if we lose. They know you're here. They know that more than half of you are women and children. After they finish with me, they'll come for you. You're right. This isn't your fight. It's not the deal we made. I need you with me if we're gonna beat them, and we need to beat them if you're gonna survive. Dang, bro. How can you refuse him? He died. The crows killed him because he spoke for the free folk where no other southerners would. He died for us. If we are not willing to do the same for him, we're cowards. He's like, I ain't no damn are. coward. We deserve to be the last of the free folk. Dang, bro. Not today. No. Okay. Oh, all right. Hey. That's his last name, and it happens to be doing that. What do you mean? Whew. So John's the new, di the great divider. I mean, united. United, yeah, of course. Oops, sorry. Kind of always has been, right? Be sure they'll come. You're not clever like your southerners. <laughs> we say we'll do something, we do it. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. I, I'm I like starting to like Tormund, yeah. yeah. I don't like Mountain Sign though. I heard you were leaving King's Landing. That is hardly your concern. Your grandson is still a prisoner. You'll leave him rotting in a cell. Loras rots in a cell because of you. The High Sparrow rules this city because of you. Our two ancient houses face collapse because of you and your stupidity. You're right. I made a terrible mistake. I carry it with me every single day. I delivered an army of fanatics onto our doorstep. And now we must fight them together. We need each other. I wonder if you're the worst person. <laughs> <laughs> At a certain age, it's hard to recall. <laughs> but the truly vile do stand out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the way you smirked at me when my grandson and granddaughter were dragged off to their cells? I'll never forget it. <laughs> you love your granddaughter. I love my son. It's the only truth I know. You must defend them. I'm leaving this wretched city as fast as I can before that shoeless zealot throws me into one of his cells. <laughs> if you're half as bright as you think you are, you'll find a way out of here too. Never. I'll yeah, never. Leave my son. What'll you do then? You have no support? Not anymore. Your brother's gone. The High Sparrow, sort of that. The rest of your family have abandoned you. The people despise you. You're surrounded by enemies, thousands of them. You've lost Cersei. It's the only joy I can find in all this misery. Damn. <laughs> I love their banter right this now. This dialogue right yeah. now is going crazy. Oh, it's over. 
Jesus. That was good. That was that a good was sequence good. right there. I wonder how many times they shot that. That was. It was, it was gold. She said the vial truly do stand out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pretty the Lannister army. Whoa. Y'all got stats. You notice Bronn's the only one not in the Lannister zone. <laughs> like, yeah. He's just like whatever he is. <laughs> he's in his self <laughs> well, that is a, solid like a leather suit. <laughs> Someone needs to teach those sad twats how to dig trenches. Someone certainly does. Not me. I'm just an upjump sellsword. You're an annoyance of knights. That's quite a difference. Aye, knights don't get paid. You have better instincts than any office in the Lannister army. You can be the right hand I lost. Right hand man. Origin story. Here it goes. You promised me a lordship and a castle and a high-born beauty for a wife. A Lannister always Don't pays say it. <laughs> no one wants to hear it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all lying now. LOL Lannister pun. Rude. Come out and face us, Blackfish. We have Lord Edmure. <gasps> Yield the castle or we'll hang him. Man, don't let my dude. Wow. I know. They don't really like him that much, though. That's the thing, right? Yeah, they because he's a doofus. <laughs> so they think. I'd probably be a doofus, too, in that world. But This is your last warning. You think I won't do it, old man? Slice your niece's throat from ear to ear. Yield the castle or I cut his throat. What's going to happen? Go on, then. Cut his throat. Been real, man. I've loved you since you missed all those shots with that arrow. Yeah, that was one of the best parts. Come on. Jamie and Bron walked up on that. It just happened. <laughs> Lothar, is it? Jamie, we didn't know you were coming because you didn't set a proper perimeter. It just allows 8,000 men to approach unchallenged. Good thing we're friends. <laughs> I've Lord Edmure bathed and fed. Whoa, whoa. Edmure is a prisoner of House Frey. Who the f is that guy? <laughs> prepared to carry out. Well, let's say I threatened to hit you unless you shut your mouth, but you kept talking. What do you think I do? I don't give a rock. Oh, he used the... I'm oh. here by the king's command to take back this castle. Have him bathed and fed, unless you'd like to take his place. Apologies for Jamie. Do, do as he says. The each is now under my command. The next time the blackfish looks out from those ramparts, you'll see an army at his gates, not whatever this is. Have your lads start <laughs> digging perimeter trenches, set pickets every hundred yards, and work double time on those siege towers and trebuchets. Those are our siege towers. As I said, siege is under my command. That's not to your liking. Go home. <laughs> my thing is, if you're just going to let them slap you like that, why aren't you even talking? <laughs> it's worked on the blackfish. I want a parley. A parley or a fight? He's an old man. You've got one hand. My money's on the old boy. Yeah, but have you seen him shoot an arrow, Jamie? Like, come on. That man's. That man can't miss. Lady Mormon. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa. That's the girl from The it's Last Ellie. of Us. That's crazy, bro. Does she cuss in this one that much? I remember when you were born, my lady. She's so cute. Who said she was a great beauty, I'm sure you will be too. I doubt it. My mother wasn't a great beauty or any other kind of beauty. <laughs> she was a great warrior, though. She died fighting for your brother, Rob. I served under your uncle at Castle Black. I was his steward. In fact, I... I think we've had enough small talk. Why are you here? Dang, she's the boss. <laughs> Stannis Baratheon garrisoned at Castle Black before he marched on Winterfell and was killed. He showed me the letter you wrote to him when he petitioned for men. It said... I remember what it said. Bear Island knows no king but the king of the north whose name is Stark. There you go. Because she wrote it. Mm. It was in her handwriting. <laughs> is gone, but how Stark is not. And it needs your support now more than ever. I've come with my sister to ask for House Mormon's allegiance. As far as I understand, you're a Snow and Lady Sandra is a Bolton. Who's she in Lannister? I've heard conflicting reports. I did what I had to do to survive, my lady. I am a Stark. I will always be a Stark. Ramsay Bolton cannot be allowed to keep Winterfell, my lady. It is our duty to stop him. Even more so because he holds our brother Rickon Stark as prisoner. You might like him. Yeah, y'all are like the same age. <laughs> I understand that I'm responsible for Bear Island and all who live here. So why should I sacrifice one more moment life for someone else's war? Because what Dang. Is coming, lady. <laughs> Let's go, Davos. What you got? Please, my lady. The salesman. I understand how you feel. I don't know you, sir. Davos, my lady of House Seaworth. You needn't ask your maester about my house. It's rather new. <laughs> All right, sir, Davos of House Seaworth. How is it you understand how I feel? You never thought you'd find yourself in your position. I never thought I'd be in my position. I was a crabber's son. Then I was a smuggler. Onion knight. And now I find myself addressing the lady of a great house in time of war. But I'm here because this isn't someone else's war. It's our war. Go on, sir Davos. Your uncle, Lord Commander Mormont, made that man oh, his a uncle. steward. He chose John to be his successor because he knew he had the courage to do what was right, even if it meant giving his life. Because Would Joe Mormont and Jon Snow both understood that the real war isn't between a few squabbling houses. It's between the living and the dead. And make no mistake, my lady, the dead are coming. Oh, wrong. 
Is this true? Your uncle fought them at the Fist of the First Men. I fought them at Hardhome. We both lost. As long as the Boltons hold Winterfell, the North is divided. And a divided North won't stand a chance against the Night King. You want to protect your people, my lady, I understand. We have to fight, and we need to do it together. Oh, don't need it. House Mormont has kept faith with House Stark for a thousand years. We will not break faith today. Let's go. Thank you, my lady. How many fighting men can we expect? 62. <laughs> Better than nothing, though. Hey, 62. <clears throat> we are not a large house, we're a proud one. And every man from Bear Island fights for the strength of ten mainlanders. If they're half as ferocious as their lady, the Boltons are doomed. <laughs> <laughs> Bear Island it. was fire looking, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I love it. I love that. Go, this Ellie. This episode is going crazy, dude. I know. The monologue in this one is just something else. Let's go, Jamie. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard, man. I'm so invested in so many characters from everywhere. Because I, I want the Blackfish to do well, too, because... Uh, because I have a, a I have an allegiance to the Stark still. Yeah, I'm a Tully as well, because Catelyn. Look at their armor. Both of them are so cool, both of them. Holy crap. Jamie looks like a freaking samurai. I know. Kingslayer, Blackfish. I assume you're here to fulfill the vow you gave my niece. I don't see Sansa and Aya. I don't have them. Pity. Do you wish to resume your captivity? <laughs> then why are you here? You know why I'm here. This castle belongs to House Frey. You're trespassing. In the name of King Tommen, I order you to surrender. Or, or you'll kill Edmure. <laughs> Hang him and be done with it. You won't stop with Edmure. You'll force me to storm the castle. Hundreds will die. Hundreds of mine. Thousands of yours. If you can breach the walls, we'll breach them and kill every last one of you. But if you surrender, I'll spare the lives of your men on my honor. Your honor. He has a little bit now. With oathbreakers is like building on quicksand. The war oh. is over, sir. Why sacrifice living men to lost cause? Maybe to make it harder for you? Right. As long as I'm standing, the war is not over. That's right, Blackfish. This is my home. So you can either attack or try to starve us out. We have enough provisions for two years. Do you have two years, Kingslayer? Yeah, I better start building a farm out there. Oof. Clearly you have no intention of saving your men's lives. Why did you come treat with me? Sieges are dull. And I wanted to see you in person, get the measure of you. Well, now you have. I'm disappointed. Oh. Bro. I kind of hate that, though, because in my, in my mind, Jamie's handicapped. I don't know what he's going to do. The answer is no. Lord Glover, if you could just hear us I've out. I've heard enough. We've only just taken back this castle from the Ironborn. The Boltons helped us do it. Oh. Now you want me to fight against them? I could be skinned for even talking to you. The Boltons are traitors. You're asking me to join your army. Who is fighting in this army? Oh, he's going to have to say the Wildlings. The bulk of the force is made up of Wildlings. And the rumors are true. I didn't dare believe them. I received you out of respect for your father. Now I would like you to leave. House Glover will not abandon its ancestral home to fight alongside wildlings. I would remind you that House Glover is pledged to House Stark, sworn to answer when called upon. Let's go, Vizanza. We wept when we heard of your father's death. When my brother was lord of this castle, he answered Rob's call and hailed him king in the north. And where was King Rob when the Ironborn attacked this castle? When they threw my wife and children in prison and brutalized and killed our subjects, getting himself and those who followed him killed. That's those consequences we were talking about way back then. Yeah. I served House Stark once, but House Stark is dead. Wow. She needs some advice from Danny. <laughs> Danny would be like, uh, just have some dragons. Well, she can convince whole armies to follow her. Yeah, without dragons. <laughs> well, just become fireproof. Theon needs to find a new place to hang out. Poor Theon. <laughs> you think Uncle Euron's hunting for us? It's a great big world and we have fast ships. You're ironborn, Theon. I know you've had some bad years. Some bad years? But I'm tired of watching you cower like a beat dog. <laughs> some bad Drink years. the goddamn <laughs> ale. Now listen to me. I need you. Not this rat shit pretender. Can you find him for me? She just doesn't Drink. understand. <laughs> right. But she does because she got it delivered to her. <laughs> you got away and you're never going back. We'll get justice for you. No, babe, I'm saying like if you lose your nuts, like you don't just metaphorically lose them. You don't have any testosterone on your like your you're soft. You're so broken that there's no coming No, that's back. what I'm saying. I'm saying she got Take it delivered to her, his pieces, wrist. so she knows all about what happened to him. End it. Right. But she thinks he can just drink and become Theon. Theon again. Right. I need you. We're going to sail to Marine. We're going to make a pact with this dragon queen. And we're going to take back the Iron Islands. Dang. 
So we'll help you if you give us back the Iron Island. Hell's kicking in. Let's go, you guys. Dennis camped here on his way to Winterfell. He was the most experienced commander in Westeros. You're not staying here long. We have to march on Winterfell now. Well, we still can. 2,000 wildlings. He's Russian, right? 200 Hornwoods, 143 Masons. 62 Mormons. But we still have a chance if we're careful and smart. Oh, <laughs> sake. <laughs> what are you getting interrupted by? So he's your most trusted advisor now. A little flare up. Because he secured 62 men from a 10 year old. The Davos is the reason I'm standing here talking to you, and he served Stannis for years. Who lost the Blackwater, who murdered his own brother, who doesn't have a head. It's not enough. We need more men. Can we fight with the army we have. That's not good. That means the army's losing morale if they're all fighting with each other. <laughs> Are you? Well, they're fighting with the wildlings. Right. But I'm saying there's no, like, common, like, let's go get it, you know? Yeah. There's just, they're just no morale. Oh, goodness. I was hoping she was going to read that out loud, but why would she have done that? I was a soldier once. All my superiors thought I was brave. I wasn't. I mean, I never ran from a fight. Only because I was afraid my friends would see I was afraid. That's all I was, right. a coward. Who followed orders, no matter the orders. You know, I remember once a woman screaming at us, calling us animals as we dragged her son from their hut. We weren't animals. Animals are true to their nature, and we had betrayed ours. Cut that young boy's throat myself as his mother screamed, and my friends held her back. What is this, rehab? I know, it seems like <laughs> like a meeting or something. <laughs> yeah. Shame was so heavy on me, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. All I could do was stare into that dark sky and listen to that mother screaming her son's name. I'll hear her screaming the rest of my life. I know I can never bring that lad back. All I can do with time I've got left is bring a little goodness into the world. That's all any of us can do, isn't it? Never too late to stop robbing people, to stop killing yeah, people. Yeah, this killer's anonymous. Start helping people. Never too late to come back. He's got a peculiar interest in his ass, don't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I like you, bro. He's a special little project. He really believes. And it's not about waiting for the gods to answer your prayers. It's not even about the gods. It's about you. Learning you have to answer your prayers yourself. Seven save your friends. Do you have any horses? No horses. No gold. No steel. Protecting the people is hungry work. I'm sure it is. You're welcome to stay for supper. But we have hungry mouths here. Stay safe. The night is dark and full of terrors. Are they? He's from that Brotherhood thing. This guy right here. Yeah, I think so. Like. Yeah, doesn't it seem with that, like the that? guy with the eye patch? Right. That's but, how. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Clegane was so stressed out about it. Because he he like kind of yeah, knows them. Prisoner is. Seven save your friends. <laughs> what was I supposed to say? From the Brotherhood. The follow the Red God. I will all are welcome here. Anyway, we got nothing for them. Sure you do. You've got food. You've got steel. Even if you say you don't. And you've got women. It'd be you against all of them. I mean, these people don't know how to fight. You do. I'm done with fighting. Even if it's to protect yourself. Violence is a disease. You don't cure a disease by spreading it to more people. You don't cure it by dying either. It's going to be a cold night. We'll need firewood. I'll save you a bowl of stew. Might even have some ale in the way. <laughs> He's like, oh, on that note. He's not a lying man. He says the Iron Fleet's in Slaver's Bay. You're Westerosi. What do you care? I want to book passage home. Can't afford it. She is the Ned Stark here too. Arya right now. <laughs> Where'd you steal this from? Yes, yeah, she does. What do you care? I'm leaving two days. You can have a hammock in steerage. I want a cabin and we'll leave at dawn. She got good at stealing because she, she she has those new skills. <laughs> Why is she walking like me? That's how rich people walk, according to Varys. I walk with my hands on my back. Yeah. I'm not rich, though. But that's what Varys said, because Tyrion was walking like that. That's that girl. Oh, you think? Sweet girl. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, shoot. Dang, is she going to be okay? I don't think so. She just stabbed the living mess out of her. They told us she's called a waif. Oh my gosh. Oh, she ain't doing good. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Arya can't die like that. No way. She's not looking good. Help her. She's the oyster girl. Oysters, pens, and cockles. Yeah, y'all buy stuff from her, but you won't help her. <gasps> Whoa. All of them? Yeah, that's gonna light a fire under him. For no reason. They were just chilling, those people. Did they hang him? Now he's gonna have a reason because he told him he was a re there was a reason he's still here. Yeah, and it's just spread violence. Oh, wow. That just reinforces his beliefs. Not fighting just gonna get you killed. So you gotta fight, brother. Oh, gosh. Let's go. 
boy. And that one, though, we can't really, like... Like, we could sit here and discuss, but I feel like we need to watch the story to really be able to discuss anything. Basically, at the end of the day, the Hound's alive, which is... We need all the life we can get at this point. He basically joined, like, a rehabilitation group who looked like they were just trying to be some self-sufficient farmers. Just yeah. not bothering anyone, man. Just trying to go out in nature and... Spread not the good word. Any, yeah, not do anything to cause <laughs> any dysfunction in the universe, bro. And... <laughs> Yeah, they were they were murdered down. So the hound is has a new fire to be up violent. under his butt. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm glad to see him back. I yeah, like his too. character. 100. Arya just got almost. I don't know shanked. what's gonna. I don't like, know if she's dead, gonna die or. Well, everyone said Arya is their favorite character of the show, and I'm like, she's got a lot more to do. She's gonna be the best character <laughs> of the show, you know? I, yeah. I'd assume that she's not dead yet. Right. Um. But she's still good. Like Jon Snow and Sansa went and met. The little girl who played Ellie from The Last of Us. Yeah, and she was what a so treat that was. Much younger in this show. She yeah, sounded. she was adorable, though. But she didn't look much older. Right, yeah. She looked about the same, bro, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. But uh, that was a treat. I know people said, like, she was in Game of Thrones, but I thought she was just, like, a background character. I didn't know she had, like, a main part. What the heck? I, I love that. that. So that was really cool to see her. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty cool. I thought Bear Island was sick. Like, just the way they... CGI'd it, shot it, whatever the case yeah. may be, wherever that location is, probably was fake. CGI, yeah, but, but it was it was incredible. Cool. It was yeah, I loved it. And at the end of the day, man, we just need the North to reunite. And I would love to see. Like, I really didn't like that. Like they said, well, John, you're just a bastard. You're a snow, and I don't like that. I want to see my boy get some recognition. Yeah, like it seems I didn't realize it was so possible. But then when I saw it, if Ramsey. It's like the saying, bro, like, if magic can make it, anybody can. So, <laughs> if Ramsey can make it, anybody can. So, let's get into some more. Yeah. That's good stuff. My firstborn son. Here we go. My child, king, listen to the gods. For you, they sing. Fight no more, sweet child. Your wars are won. The wolves are buried. And the false stag done. Let the crown fall. The father above beckons you to his hall. Oh, they're so emotional about it. Seventh heaven, I'll see you once more. Cersei is not that graceful. <laughs> <laughs> and she doesn't even believe in seven heavens. I seek vengeance on Sansa the whore. And my brother, the imp. Uh-oh, getting more accurate. Who killed his own king. Born amongst lions, I'll curse from within. I will slay him, I swear. With noose or with knife. That would take me a fortnight, a moon, or my life. Bravo. Excellent. They need to extend her contract. <laughs> Isn't it funny that Cersei's the star over here? Look at that hair. <laughs> I feel like she's about to die. Or something. <gasps> That's where she went? Hey, she saved her life. Yeah. Return to save mine. You're good at that. Where did you learn? I'm a jealous woman. I've always liked bad men. And they've always liked me. They'd come home, whatever home was that night, stinking of some whore's perfume. So we'd fight, and I'd put a hole in them. And I feel terrible. So I'd patch them up. I got good at patching them up. And good at putting holes in them. <laughs> and that. Arya's like, Arya's like, I kind of like her. <laughs> what happened to the actress? The one who wanted you dead? Bianca. She'll have a hard time finding work as an actress after what I did to her face. Oh. I never did learn to cook. But eat. Eat, you need it. It's like that girl in Lord of the Rings. The company's moving on to Pentos soon. Where he's like, <laughs> come with us. I can't. Why not? Got a feeling you'd be good at this sort of work. And besides, we need a new actress. I don't think I could remember all of the lines. What's left for you here? You wouldn't be safe while she's looking for me. Who? She doesn't have a name. Didn't she get stabbed? Oh, shoot. Where will you go? What do you mean? Well, she's like kind of good. Essos is east and Westeros is west. But what's west of Westeros? I don't know. Nobody does. That's where all the maps stop. The edge of the world, maybe. I'd like to see that. So she wants to be a traveler, huh? So you're saying she got stabbed, but she's acting like she's too good? Like, I thought she got stabbed a lot. Right, like she should be in ICU. Yeah. Oh. Oh, she's giving her milk with a poppy. Mm -hmm. Night, night. That lady's comforting to me, which scares me. <laughs> yeah, wish well, she's alive. I thought she was about to die. I was a famous kisser. You allowed to know how to kiss proper? <laughs> I've never asked my last that. <laughs> this is for masters, this technique. You're not ready. I'm ready. He says he's ready. Right. Now pay attention. Right hand holds the smaller the lady's back, like so. Very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Ooh, why is he sniffing it? I would run away. <laughs> oh, he's walking up hard. <gasps> oh. That's an extermination overkill. <laughs> mm. There's the other one. Oh, it says so people. I forgot about him. You're shit at dying, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I just knew that was going to be brutal, so I had to brace myself. Couscous. Let me see my <laughs> Call that a successful gambit. 
Would you? Look around. City has come back to life. Made a pact with fanatics. And it worked. If you shaved your beard with a straight razor, you'd say the razor worked. That doesn't mean it won't cut your throat. Spoken like a man who has never had to shave. <laughs> Cuba all over there. I'm going to miss you. I know. I hope you're right about this expedition of yours. If I don't return, you'll know I was wrong. Where are you going? We need friends in Westeros, and we need ships. Most of all, we need our queen. She'll come back. My heart's been broken too many times already. I'll walk the rest of the way myself. I can't go off on a secret mission in the company of the most famous dwarf in the city. <laughs> so he's going to go try to get allies Paris. in Westeros and preach her cause over there? <laughs> I don't know. The most famous dwarf in the world. I didn't like that because it seemed like that was like a I'll never see, see you again. Another life, yeah. Brother. Another life, brother. <sighs> I kind of like Varys. I didn't like him at first. I thought he was sneaky. Tyrion with like the facial hair and the beard. I like it a lot more. <laughs> Several members of the Faith Militant have been permitted entry to the Red Keep. Have been permitted. That's rather a tortured way of putting it. Who permitted them inside the Red Keep? The king Amen. is aware of their presence. He is, Your Grace. He's currently in his chambers at prayer. Oh, wow. Your Grace, His Holiness the High Septon wishes to speak with you at the Great Sept of Baelor. His Holiness the High Septon is welcome to see me here in the Red Keep. Your Grace, this is not a request. It is a request, Cousin Lancel. You are asking me for something I'm refusing. Oh. The High Septon commands you. Are you sure you want to refuse him? He promised me I could stay in the Red Keep until my trial. He made no such promises. If you refuse to come of your own free will. Yes, you hear that rattle going off? Mm-hmm. Cersei's turned into a rattlesnake. Oh, I was like, what? I just heard chains rattling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Order your man to step aside or there will be violence. Okay, what's up, Cousin Lancel? I know, you don't know about this guy. We don't know about this guy. That's why his star is crooked. I choose violence. I choose violence. Uh, uh, oh. Finally, I mean, it's about time, right? By like, showing what's up. How's he just gonna come up there and say she has to come though? You know she what I'm saying? She said I choose violence. Yeah, who are you? Who's next? Who else wants the violence? Oh, ripping heads off barehandedly. Interesting way to kill a man. <laughs> Might He's try. <laughs> He's always welcome to visit. He like popped his head off like a Barbie. <laughs> yeah, I know everyone wants me to like hate Cersei. And don't get me wrong, I do, right? In a, in a lot of ways, but that was kind of tough. Somebody needs to stand up to them. Looks like a siege, my lady. You have a keen military mind, Pod. <laughs> <laughs> that was so sarcastic. <gasps> Sir Jamie. My lady. It just sucks because they're on the wrong side of things. But Bronn's going to know Go Pod. Side. My name is Brian of Tar. Please inform Sir Jamie Lannister I've come to speak with him. Tell him I have his sword. You're like, all right, since you have a sword. This is that reunion we have all been waiting for. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's Bron. Oh, okay. Yeah, Getting cool. a bit old to be a squire, aren't we? <laughs> you just uncled his ass. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. I thought you'd be dead by now. Not yet. <laughs> they in there? You think they're f <laughs> <laughs> He was like, no. <laughs> Why not? I'm a squire. Oh. We all women look at him, he's frankly irritating. I preferred working with a little brother on that account. <laughs> <laughs> She's training me to fight. Is she? Oh. An hour in the morning, an hour at night. Ron just has no Every idea day. about like decency and respect. Yeah. <laughs> then how come an old <laughs> like me can still sneak up and murder you? That's a different sort of fighting. Now that's the truth, isn't it? You want to learn that sort of fighting? <laughs> all right. He said, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's start with your footwork. Show me your stance. <laughs> now listen to me, bud. See how your feet are about a yard apart. Assume <laughs> <laughs> everyone wants to hit you. <laughs> everyone wants to hit a f squire. Come on, don't so. I never thought. Look you'd at find his dance. Just assume the was dead. Why would you assume that? In my experience, girls like her don't live very long. I don't think you know many girls like her. Well, I'm proud of you. I am. You fulfilled your oath to Catelyn Stark against all odds. Of course, my sister once sounds a dead girl, so a suspect in Joffrey's murder. So there is that complication. You'll let it slide though, right? Mm -hmm. What the hell are you doing here? I've come for the Blackfish. You're welcome to have him. Lady Sansa desires to take her ancestral seat back from the Boltons and assume her rightful position as Lady of Winterfell. With what army does she plan on taking Winterfell? The Tully army. They're a bit occupied at the moment. I was sent here to reclaim River Run, currently defended by the Tully rebels, so you right. can see the conundrum. The Tullys are rebels because they're fighting for their home. River Run was granted to the phrase by royal decree. As a reward for betraying Rob Stark and slaughtering his family. Exactly. Wow. Jamie has a hard time even saying that. You're I know. Right, Sir Jamie. I know there is honor in you. I've seen it myself. I'm a Lannister. Don't ask me to betray my own house. I do no such thing. Take River Run without bloodshed. He's trying. Ride south again with your mission complete and your army intact. 
What do you propose? Let me try to persuade the Blackfish to give up the castle. Why would he abandon his ancestral home? Because you'll allow him to lead the Tully forces safely north. Have you ever met the Blackfish? <laughs> He's a stubborn old one. No. He's even more stubborn than yeah. you are. <laughs> All right. Try to talk some sense into the old goat. He won't listen, but his men might. Not everybody wants to die for someone else's home. I need your word. If I persuade him to abandon the castle, you'll grant us safe passage north. You have my word. You have until nightfall. Is she giving the sword the back? The sword back, yeah. She has no idea that she needs that. <laughs> yeah, no. I definitely keep it. <laughs> like, she's the one in the north. <laughs> I have achieved that purpose. It's yours. It will always be yours. That's what's up, because she'd be wielding that thing. I know. That's the hound. <laughs> Ask everyone she's came across. One last thing, Sir Jamie. Yes, Lady Brienne. Should I fail to persuade the Blackfish to surrender, and if you attack the castle, honor compels me to fight for Sansa's kin. Of course it does. To fight you. Because some people take their oath seriously. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Yeah, Jamie, because she'll kick your butt, bro. I've said no so three hope times it don't. already. I have a signed letter from your niece, Sansa. I haven't seen her since she was a child. I don't know her signature. I don't know you, and I will not surrender. Double the guards tonight. The king's there wants to try us. I can feel it. As I have said, my name is Brienne. Yes, Brienne of Tarth. I know your father. Riverrun cannot stand against the Lannisters and the Frey. We can stand longer than your one-handed friend thinks we can. He's not my friend. No? Who gave you permission to cross the siege line and enter the castle? Who gave you that sword with a gold lion on the pommel? So Jamie kept his word to your niece, Catelyn Stark. He sent me to find Sansa to help her as Catelyn wanted. He gave me this sword to protect her. That is what I have done and I will continue to do until the day I die. Nice. Yeah, I don't think that changed my mind, but nice. If I was as stubborn as him, you know. She's exactly like her mother. I don't have enough men to help her take Winterfell. You have more than she does. She wants her home back, I understand that. But this is my home. And if Jamie Lannister wants it, he can bloody well take it the way everyone else does. Please. That's one of the most aggravating things in life, dude, is when someone that you care about is just so stubborn. You need to get like, oh my God. What should I write? Tell her I failed. She said I choose violence. I know, that was cold. <laughs> Look, she's got a little swag back. You see her? Yeah, because she is mountain sign. Trust me, when he's out, what's going to happen? There's to be a royal announcement. There is. Why wasn't I informed? There is to be a royal announcement. <laughs> in the throne room at this very moment. <laughs> You're so sarcastic, you Uncle Kev. To stand by my son. Your place is in the gallery with the other ladies of the court. Look at Pycelle in, in his ear. Whispering God knows what. I know. Wow. Lords and ladies, the faith and the crown are the two pillars that hold up this world. One collapses, so does the other. The father judges us all. If you break his laws, you will be punished. After conferring with his holiness, the High Septon, we have determined that Loris Tyrell and Cersei Lannister's trial will be held in the Great Sept of Baelor on the first day of the Festival of the Mother. Wow. After much prayer and reflection, Crown has decided that from this day forward, trial by combat will be forbidden throughout the Seven Kingdoms. Oh yeah, I bet, I bet. Oh, <laughs> that was Can't her plan. Can't win the game, change the rules. A scheme devised by corrupt rulers in order to avoid true judgment from the gods. Wow. Cersei so Lannister, corrupt, right? Loris Tyrell, will stand trial before seven septons as it was in the earliest days of the faith. Seven blessings to all. We're sitting here like, this is horrific. Like, these crazy fanatics. But like, in Cersei's world, they literally let people fight to death to determine if you're innocent. So is it even better or worse? Right. That's not and for she, us to say. And she, to be but, honest, Cersei started all of this. <laughs> right every last bit of it because she invited that guy in but what i'm saying is like in a lot of ways these people make more sense than what's going on in king's landing yeah because they, they're know, wild they're wild yeah that old rumor you told me about my little birds investigated just a rumor or something more what rumor right oh, much more y'all sneaky sneaky peter dicky <laughs> I am happy. You should both be happy as well. Not so long ago, this city was ready to devour itself. Now it's like a man reborn. I will be happy when our queen returns. Why don't you drink? Why don't either of you ever drink? Unsullied never drink. Why not? Rules. And who made these rules? Your former masters? You? What's your <laughs> excuse? I have tried wine before. Here's to our queen. Anyone not drinking is disrespecting our queen. <laughs> stricken him. Man just wants to promote drinking so bad. <laughs> He's tricking them. <laughs> Mother of dragons. He's like, please make it chain. part of our culture. Long may she reign. Long, Long may she, she reign. reign. This is what we do all day in King's Landing. It's okay. <laughs> You're a great ruler. <laughs> do you like it? Tastes like it has turned. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
fermentation. One day, after our queen has taken the seven kingdoms, I'd like to have my own vineyard, make my own wine. Sounds like Drew Bledsoe. The imp's delight. Oh, he named it. <laughs> my close friends could drink it. That's that 80 proof. <laughs> Tell me a joke, Miss Sandy of Nath. I do not know any jokes. Grey Worm. <laughs> Three lords walk into a tavern. Stark, a Martell, and a Lannister. They order ale. But when the barkeep brings them over, each of them finds a fly in his cup. The Lannister, outraged, shoves the cup aside and demands another. The Martell plucks the fly out and swallows it whole. The Stark reaches into his cup, pulls out the fly and shouts, spit it out, you wee shit! Spit it out! <laughs> Why, because they're like poor or yeah. something? <laughs> Funnier in Westeros. <laughs> like... Starks and the Lannisters. <laughs> I thought these were enemies. <laughs> yes. A joke is like a story. <laughs> that was so funny, bro. Like... Not a true story, necessarily. A story that's supposed to make you laugh. <laughs> Ideally. Not at the moment, perhaps. <laughs> He's like, I thought Sunday, these were enemies. Do you like the wine? I do. <laughs> Tell a joke. <laughs> what if you don't know one, bro? I know. Two translators are on a sinking ship. <laughs> the first says, do you know how to swim? The second says, no, but I can shout for help in 19 languages. That's pretty good, though. <laughs> but that works as universal. <laughs> that is the worst joke I ever heard. You don't even know what a joke is. I'm soldier all my life. You think I never hear joke? You lied to us. He didn't say you couldn't make joke. Oh, that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but he's so serious. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. More jokes. <laughs> I've... Once walked into a brothel with a honeycomb and a jackass. Why? The madam says... <laughs> <laughs> Why did you walk Why in there like, like that? Oh, snap. Oh, no. Are you guys ready for war? No, they're playing drinking games. I apologize for the way the phrase treated you. Man of your birth deserves better. Of my word, you'll be probably... Man of your birth. Your <laughs> Terrible. I have your word. That's a fine thing. <laughs> my uncle will never surrender the castle, so whatever game you're playing. The Blackfish is an old man. Good death is all he can hope for. But you? You have a child now, I've heard. A son. You sigh out on your wedding night. You're a potent man. A son I've never met. Born of a wife that I haven't seen since our first night together. It'd be a weird enough. dynamic. I know. I can arrange that, you realize. Comfortable rooms for your castle, rock. A chooser for your boy. Knights to train him to fight and to ride. And when he comes of age, I love a keep of his own. Imagine yourself a decent person. Is that it? After you, you've massacred my family, kept me in a cell for years, stolen our lands. I'll remind you that our houses are at war. I'm sorry if this conflict has inconvenienced you, but rebelling against the crown does have consequences. Because the man who shoved his sword through his king's back. Did I give you the impression that this was a negotiation? It's not. That dialogue was tough, too. Yeah, I know. On some level, you understand that you're an evil man. I'll leave the judgments to the gods. Oh, that is convenient for you. You're a fine-looking fellow. A square jaw, your golden armor. Tell me, I want to know, I truly do. How do you live with yourself? All of us have to believe that we're decent. Don't we? You have to sleep at night. How do you do Not everybody. That you're decent after everything that you've done. This got so deep. I was your sister's prisoner once. She hit me on the head with a rock, if I remember correctly. That's our Catelyn. She should have killed you. Perhaps, but she didn't. Catelyn Stark hated me just like you hate me. But I didn't hate her. I admired her far more than her husband or her son. You think I care whom you admire? And no, you I don't, don't, but I'm telling you anyway, because you're my prisoner and you don't have a choice. <laughs> the love she had for her children, I was a little awed by it. It reminded me of my sister. You're a madman. I'm not here to trade insults. Your sister was a strong... Don't talk about Cat. I'll talk about whom I want. She loved her children, I suppose. All mothers do, but Catelyn and Cersei, there's a fierceness you don't often see. They'd do anything to protect their babies. Start a war, burn cities to ash, free their worst enemies. Things we do for love. Push him yeah. right out the window. You didn't come here to talk about our sisters. That's exactly why I came here. I love Cersei. You can laugh at that if you want. You can sneer, it doesn't matter. She needs me. And to get back to her, I have to take River Run. I'll send for your baby boy. <laughs> And I'll launch him into River Run with a catapult. You don't matter to me, Lord Edmure. Your son doesn't matter to me. Only Cersei. And if I have to slaughter every Tully who ever lived to get back to her. Oh my god. That's what I'll do. Dang. Yeah, he thought he was about to sit there and guilt trip Jamie. Nope. 
Jamie just boss moved him up and said, dude, I'm in an open relationship with my sister, bro. But will he kill? I have no shame. Will huh? he kill Brienne to get back to Cersei, though? He just said he would. I don't know. Edmure Tully, son of Hoster Tully, and the rightful Lord of Riverrun. I demand entry. Don't let him in. He's the Lord of Riverrun. I have to obey his commands. He's been there captive ever since they murdered his king at the Red Wedding. Why do you think the people who murdered his king at the Red Wedding would decide to let him come home? Because it's a trap, you idiot. Don't let him in. He's my lord, my lord. You're obeying the Kingslayer's commands. My lord has given an order. With a knife to his throat. That is not a valid order. I'll have your head before I surrender River Run. You are not lord of this castle, my lord. Yeah, there you go, exactly. His people aren't trying to die over all that junk. They have their Come own the allegiances, their own minds and motivations. This guy's out here too stubborn. No. What is gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Dude, I really don't know. But what is Jamie thinking? Welcome home, my lord. Command all the forces within the castle to lay down their arms. Open the gates. My lord. Your lord has given a command. He, you know, he basically told him, like, you're either going to do this or, you know, he basically threatened him. I would be like, just kill me then. But isn't the premise that it's a losing battle for them anyways? Yeah, but I would make it hard on the Lannisters and make them try to beat me up. Well, it's like they said, so um, people don't really want to get beat up for another man's home. That is true. I hate to see it, but at the same time, fish. there was no violence. Put yet. him in irons and hand him over to the phrase. Dang, that changes it a little bit. Go on. Come with us. I've run before at the Red Wedding. I'm not running again. This is my family home. Your family is in the north. Come with us. Don't die for pride when you can fight for your blood. You all serve Sansa far better than I ever could. Come on, Blackfish. I haven't had a proper sword fight in years. I expect I'll make a damn fool of myself. You gotta give it to him, though. He's in the trenches kind of guy. Yeah, he's gutting it out. Lannister flag. Lannister... Decorations are up, baby. It's funny, they move in and start redecorating. Immediately. My first thing was like, where's the food? But, you know. We found the blackfish, my lord. Good. Bring him to me. He died fighting, my lord. Yikes. He sees Brienne, doesn't he? Do you think he's just happy she escaped? Yeah, for sure. Oh, he, he gave her a nod. Man, this is so interwoven and heartbreaking. I know. He just sees such a good person in her, doesn't he? Like yeah, someone who can keep their own. She she brings something out of Jamie. She makes him really human. Mm -hmm. Then there's Cersei, which brings something not so good out of him. But he still loves very, her anyways. Yeah. Wrong, I admit it. That changes nothing. The Unsullied could mount a defense off the beachhead if the slavers No forces... more talking from you. Your talking gave us this. And I have acknowledged that. I'm trying, trying to, to tell me what the army should do. You do not know what the army should do. All right. What should the army do? We will not go to the beach. If we go to the beach, the masters will take the pyramid. The pyramid is the only place in the city we can defend. We stay here. And then? We wait for them to come to us, and we fight them. Oh, please. Oh, please what? Daenerys? I was hoping it was, like, someone landing on there, like a dragon. You're the dragon down landing yeah. on there, yeah. That'd be a heavy dragon. <gasps> hey! Yay! Perfect timing, girl! She's like, I saw it from the skies. Did I hear that? Dracarys time? They attacked a nearby sept and murdered the villagers. Why do you want them? Same reason. I was helping build it. They killed a friend of mine. You've got friends? <laughs> Not anymore. They're mine. Killed you once before, Dundarian. Happy to do it again. Drop that arrow, you bloody girl. <laughs> <laughs> Enough for girls and you have tried to kill me. <laughs> Brian, Arya. I think they're low-key friends. They they like give each other like Bro. they heckle each other. Yeah. <laughs> like you just gotta chop that damn wood they're sending on. Nancy's. <laughs> You're getting old, Clitoris. He's not. <laughs> give you anything. He wants those. I feel like I tried to kick him in the head. I was dying. Got anything to eat? Enjoying yourself. We prefer chicken. We know. You ought to join us. We could use you. I tried joining. Didn't work out for me. Clegane, we're here for a reason. The Lord of Light is keeping Beric alive for a reason. He gave a failed drunk priest the power to bring him back. We are part of something larger than ourselves. Half the horrible sh** in this world gets done for something larger than ourselves. The Lord of Light gave you the power to defeat me. I beat you because I'm better than you, Beric. I was better than you before you started yammering on about the Lord. And I'm better than you now. Ah, you're probably right. You were born a fighter. You walked away from the fight. How did that go? Good and bad, young and old. The things we're fighting will destroy them all alike. You can still help a lot more than you've harmed Clegane. It's not too late for you. Join them. Why not? Who's that? Is that that girl? 
It's probably that girl. Lady Crane? Lady Crane? Oh, someone had to do it. Oh, man. If you'd have done your job. Yeah, see, I knew it was her. The many-faced god was promised a name. He must always receive what is his. You can't change that. I can't change that. No one can. And now he's been promised another name. <laughs> oh. She's just walking out. She's relentless, dude. She's like a robot. I know. Her <laughs> Oh, <laughs> haha. -ha. Yeah, but what did she just walk into? It looks like a bathroom or something. Oh, a sauna. <gasps> oh my God. That girl's crazy. It's like every dude's worst nightmare. Look at her sprinting though with a knife. Exactly like she was told not to as a kid. Mm -hmm. Here she comes. Oh my oh, gosh. Man. How they're shooting her in the background is so cool though. Yeah. It's sneaky. You're leaving blood trails. She doing that on purpose? I feel like she has to be, right? I mean, she's smart. I don't know why this girl's not running after. She's decided to walk. She's matching her pace. Maybe she's like kind of scared. <laughs> it will all be over soon. On your knees or on your feet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Haven't we been through this already? That won't help you. Cause she's been blind, bro. Uh -huh. Oh, that was tough. Oh no. Someone's face is up there. Fresh. Yeah. You to kill me. Uh oh. Yes. But here you are. And there she is. Finally, a girl is no one. A girl is Arya Stark of Winterfell. And I'm going home. We're about to have a family reunion, bro. Wow. You did all that training just to be like the best night fighter ever. You said very well. On about your day then. He's like, I always liked her. <laughs> a girl smart. <laughs> I blew out some of them candles on my way out. Whew. That was fire, y'all. <laughs> Let's go. This is music right here. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was Game of Thrones. That throne, the throne, throne, throne. Uh, <laughs> would you please break down this episode? Hold for on, us? Let, let me take my headphone out. Okay, well, it's called No One, so I guess we should we can just go with the fact that Arya is officially No One, but she's not No One because she's actually Arya Stark of Winterfell. Absolutely. She's going back there, so it seems like she might help. Well, no, she won't help partake in that battle. That battle will be done by the time she gets there, right? Maybe she moves fast. Really, yeah, but anyways, so <clears throat> that happened, and then. Where should, where should we start? Like, well, I mean, with Jamie. Well, yeah, that's the most important element yeah. right now. Maybe, yeah. So we should start with Jamie. Jamie showed, in a sense, showed Jamie showed a lot of character development in this, right? Uh, the Did brutal, but didn't. Right, right. He's right. so black and white, dude. It's so awesome. So let's talk about it. So Jamie basically had a really human moment with Edmir. That whole moment was completely undercut with the fact that Jamie reminded us that that he's still evil, but it's almost like he was trying to. Like one up Edmir because Edmir was taunting him, like saying that no matter what you say, no matter what you try to hide behind war effort, whatever, like you're evil, bro. And he's like, you know yeah. what? If you're gonna if we're gonna play that game, then we're just gonna play it all the way. But he he also showed mercy in a sense, right? Because he let Brienne and Pod go. But he also showed well, no, he showed mercy. Well, yeah, but he also showed mercy by like letting Edmir free, basically. I mean, I know they're still under siege of the like he could have just killed him. Yeah, yeah it could have been different. Yeah. He could have just like slit his throat and like been been done with it, and they could have just attacked him. Right, which also makes me wonder like where Jamie's at on the Boltons. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe a part of me feels like Jamie thinks Westeros would be a better place with the Starks in charge of Winterfell. Right, but I solely believe that Jamie did that just for Cersei, a hundred percent. Yeah. He just she just so, yeah. honestly she needs something though. Well, I think she it was needs selling. something. I thought it was selling what he said. He said at the end of the day whatever he basically was saying he puts on a face he puts on a front he plays the role he does what he has to do but every every diplomatic decision every everything he does to put on a show in front of his men it's all one is there's one motivation really that drives jamie and it's the approval of cersei mm. you know and obviously he'd be a completely different person if cersei wasn't so powerful and right. you know important and if their family wasn't who they were like if he was just a like a like a lowborn person just serving ale you know what i'm saying yeah like, none of that stuff would matter as much but but they gotta get something back for on their side because tommen's kind of giving all of their like kingdom over to the faith so. i don't love the tommen character right. story arc like right now no i was excited for it when it first started but seeing that he was basically going to be the king who they was, were right like cersei was right they said once marjorie got her claws in him it's over and they're not wrong they're not wrong at all well it's not like 
he went and decided to go ruin everything. Like, like we have already discussed, like Cersei done that. Right. But he wasn't equipped to handle it. So Cersei created this huge problem that basically fell to Tommen's feet. He'll be remembered for this. It'll go down and stain his legacy, but she did it. Right. 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 And it's just one of those things, but she also loves her kids, but at the same time, it's like a love hate and she's frustrated and she doesn't agree. And right. if I was in your position, there's just a lot going yeah. on there. I love it. Marjorie, obviously, I feel like Marjorie, Marjorie 100% believes a little bit of what they're preaching over there. I mean, because how could you not? She said it herself. She pretended she liked the poor because it was very good for optics. It helped her brand, basically. Mm -hmm. And she was disgusted by them. So, I mean, her admitting that, I, I believed her. But you know her handing that rose kind of showed me that Marjorie does a good job of putting on a front when she needs to. Yeah, she is the master right. manipulator and that, of the show, yeah. And, and that's the thing. Like, a lot of people will say, oh, that's not her being evil. That's not her manipulating. But it, it, is, it essentially is. And that's how she gets it done. And well, I mean, everyone has to manipulate at some level. I mean, you know, everyone yeah. who's ever went to a job interview tried to manipulate the person. Who Heck, yeah, because you have to say all these good things about yourself. And you know good and well half of them ain't true. You know right, you I late mean, sometimes. Let's be real. I think Marjorie is basically like, I'm going to use this opportunity to try to be a better person and learn from things. But at the same time, I'm still not rocking with this. Right. I mean, how could you be? They're talking about it'd be one thing if they were going after the low dwellers in the streets, but they're not. They're only it's, it's obviously political. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's a big political thing. So well, it was political. So Cersei didn't have to marry Loris. So like if they're gunning for them because it kind of started that way. Which really just goes to show how terrible of a husband Robert was. <laughs> look how traumatized Cersei is to marry someone else that she doesn't want to. All right. Of this expectation you put in her head. Love that part. Um, I'm getting a little more used to the faith being in the show, you know. But like I said, it it came out of left field for us, and a lot of people were like, "Well, actually, according to the lore and the books, it really doesn't come out of left field." And totally get that and respect that. But just for us, it seemed to come a little. Out of left field, but I actually really like the storyline a little bit more. Yeah, the storyline is definitely interesting. Well, because it's turned. It's, it's sorry to interrupt you. No, but no, no. Last thing I was gonna say is it's made the show like not. I don't love the storyline per se, but now that it's here and the roots have taken hold, it's really made it really complicated. Mm -hmm. And I do think it's believable. Right. So in terms of like realism and stuff, I, I do. I do think it's believable. In yeah. Sense. You know, for the most part. So since I guess we kind of have a war coming. I guess we should just talk about where we are with it. So I guess we should talk about John and Sansa, um, who they have. And right now they only have they have the Mormons, which is like that was such a beautiful moment. Ellie killed that. Yeah, um, that was good yeah, that was great. Um, that's kind of cool because that's ties to Jorah. Yeah. You know, so hopefully that plays into it at some right. part. Right. Like hopefully. Everyone seems to be jumping ship and hopping on Daenerys's cost because I mean, that's just bad, but a lot of people are just losing faith in the crown, man. Like, the the crown is so, you know what I'm saying? It's so soiled at this point. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really hard to respect it. But, yeah. And, I yeah, yeah. Uh, John is doing a great job with his leadership role. Like, I really like him in this role. And Sansa's so diplomatic. Like, I love her in this role, too. And she does right. have that last name. So It seems like, though, that they don't have many people. So, it doesn't, like, obviously, they don't have the Tullys. So, it looks like they're going to come into, I, I don't know how much the Boltons have, but... The way that they're talking, it doesn't seem like they have very good odds. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the yeah. Boltons have a lot more members, and they're ruthless. And I the mean, car that's, starts. That's another thing them. is the show's really emphasizing how ruthless the Boltons are. Like, yeah. The Boltons are a tough out, dude. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's where we're at. Like, John, And then John's bringing an army that's not even unified because it's the Wildlings. And then, you know, they're already getting Davos had to break up a fight. Right. They, like... They're, they don't have, like, a really good purpose, like, yet. And I feel like a White Walker needs to come, like, up to them or something for them to be like, dude, we got to do this together or something. Yeah, it'd be really helpful to have, like, TV and media at that point, right? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, listen, though. The thing is, John's issue is his first ally was the Wildlings, and that really hurt him because everyone hears that and immediately, like, they're out. Yeah, because immediately they're they just known as people who just are coming to take your stuff, like— Right. In their minds, they're here and, oh, you're teaming up with the Nazis? Like, that's your number one ally? We're good. You know right. what I'm saying? So that's what they hear. Yeah. And yeah. and it's, it would be hard to fight for something they don't quite understand yet. They think it's just a bunch of squabbling between the houses, but it's really, like, way more than that. They just have to get through this little step to take Winterfell back. And I think once... I don't really know the outcome of that, but apparently Melisandre said the Bolton flags are going to be burnt. So... Well, the thing about the Boltons is I like I like I like the Boltons. I like their story arc. I like where they're at. But Vladimir Bolton's dead. Um, Ramsey's left. So Ramsey's sort of running things right now. 
Ramsey's obviously so evil that you would imagine on some level he has to die. He's gonna eventually. he's gonna make a stupid decision and burn himself into the ground. Basically, I feel like it's he, gonna I feel be like he's gonna get eaten by his own dog. <laughs> they should. That's a hundred percent how that should happen. I want to see. I would like to see John and Sansa retake Winterfell, but mm-hmm. I don't really. I'm not really ready to see. Well, I don't know, man. This show's coming to a close. So maybe I'm hoping we do Arya need Ramsey comes to into go. the mix. You see what I'm saying, like. I don't know, man. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm expect I'm I'm expecting a battle soon, right? And, and then Daenerys' side also has a battle because Marine is being attacked by the Masters again, and she shows up just in the nick of time. So it's either she's gonna Dracarys the ships or somehow get the ships to for herself. I don't really know how that's gonna happen, but it seems to me like she's gonna have to burn them. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. Maybe they'll take them. They you know, need like, them. That's you know, my 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 mindset would be taking the shit. Yeah, so I would hate to burn all that. I know because you know, you, you really need that stuff, but right. at the same time, you do need to restore like that's like big piles of cash. Pulling you got to build your burn. house up before you go try to take another one, and her house is kind of like in shatters right now because yeah. she kind of was MIA for like however long. Right, and Tyrion thought he was doing good, and he should have had those people executed. You know when he brought those like prostitutes in yeah he should have killed him man that was what i thought that's what was gonna happen he's like here's you some people and then he left i was like yeah. i was like they're dead bye no nope. he's doing the best he can do but it just don't work the same as westeros that's man. exactly We're in what i was say he, yeah. it's like a whole different culture there and, and i feel like Tyrion will learn that. i feel like that was him learning <laughs> yeah he'll learn that. there is his learning point hopefully from this point on he makes better decisions but hopefully daenerys will be here for them well my thing is how is daenerys gonna feel when she gets back and she looks at all the damage that i think she's gonna be like in her wake i think she's gonna be smart enough to know like what can she do like she wasn't there and she and Tyrion went and freed the dragons because like yeah but she's supposed to bounce ideas off Tyrion, and in her times of doubt she's supposed to like understand her own mental capacities and trust Tyrion. but now she's gonna think he's a doof well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hope, I wouldn't trust hopefully it doesn't cost them anything. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know hopefully it's go. just a learning lesson. Hopefully she's like, you know, I was gone. So, you know, let bygones be bygones. I don't, but know, how that's petty, a big... <laughs> I don't know how petty the show will get. Right. But what if Daenerys is sitting there pissed off and she's like, what? You're you're trying to get you're trying to get Grey Worm to get drunk and tell jokes. That's what you're <laughs> doing when we be, when we fell under siege. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like. She might say that because that would like I can understand that could anger you, you know? Yeah. Right. But but like that storyline is also becoming good because Theon and Yara are headed to Daenerys to try to like work out something with her because I bet they're trying to get there because they have the ships already. So I bet they're trying to get there before the uncle can. My thing is, what if you decide to go put all your faith in the dragon queen and then when you get there, she just feeds you to the dragons? I mean, because I guess that's the price you pay. Because if I'm Daenerys and I see, I see them pulling up. Like I don't trust them. Yeah, but at like, the I'm same good. time, if if I'm well, Daenerys, I'm trying to fleet, take every. Though. I'm trying to take. Yeah, she's bringing yeah. a fleet, and that's a hundred percent what I need to get what I ultimately want in the end, which is the Iron Throne. So potentially, Daenerys could come across. Not only could she come, so basically, recently she came across the Dorthraki army. She could potentially have two fleets of ships. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's got dragons at the end of the day, and she came across Tyrion. Which hopefully, hopefully, man, I. I I don't know if he's going to turn out being some great thinker and strategist and stuff, but I really hope he does. Yeah, I really hope so, too, because I hope when, you know, when he had that little brief of like moments where he was making like all these good decisions for King's Landing, I'm hoping that that kind of like transpires into Essos and like hopefully Westeros in the future, because Tyrion, when he was doing that, that was his best, in my opinion. Well, it seems like it seems like Westeros has a more sustainable system. And so even though it is corrupt as hell, like that's right. the truth, like it's it corrupt is, as it hell, is. but so is everywhere else. It's just like it's just the lesser of evils, I guess, because well, this slavery doesn't determine everything like that's well, in going Essos, on. the whole entire society is based on slavery. Yeah. So essentially people have a completely different. Well, I guess they do in Westeros, too, but I was going to say essentially in Essos, it seems like people have a completely different outlook on like life and stuff like that because it's a slave society yeah but when you're in westeros it's completely not like that it's a hierarchy society right. which is essentially a slave society they don't even way. have time to tell jokes in essos but in westeros right. like he knows them all like, we'll see and in westeros it seems like if you want to be a good ruler in westeros what you could really do is surround yourself with people who basically won't break their oaths 
and get loyal people in that sense and make good decisions for your people. But it seems like a lot of people want to exploit the riches that Westeros gives them because it has been such a success. I mean, it's, you know, it's the seven kingdoms. You yeah. know, they have resources there. They have so much geography there. Uh, but think about it. The last three kings they had. All right. So it's Tommen right now. It was Joffrey before. It was Robert before that. So you had a drunk one, a, a rash young one, and an even younger one. So like how... Rash. Uh, <laughs> she, called, she called him rash. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. But how... Just like how can you make it better? Because basically the people around you, like the ones that have been there from the get are the ones still in charge. And that's exactly the point. So if you happen to do find yourself in a position of power, like if your motivations aren't to just self indulge yourself, right. To commit acts of evil, AKA Joffrey, or if you're not just, just too young and cowardice like Tom. And then like, if you want to do something good for your people, it wouldn't be that hard. But it seems like nobody wants to do that. But Everyone it's because who, the, I'm saying they're just being advised by the people around them who are the people who have been the people all along. Like they've had the same customs. They have the same ideas. I understand. Yeah, what you're it's saying. just like it's a generational thing because the kings have not been strong kings. Like they've been kings who have been letting the people around. Well, them. the problem. So I see what you're saying. Like kind of like in America, right? Like a lot of people make the argument. Drain the swamp. Well, Drain the swamp. They make a lot of arguments that like people shouldn't, that there should be term limits basically because there's right, career right, politicians right. who, and a lot of them are like 80 something years old and, and that's like the that's same like, message. That's why people don't like kings and stuff because you keep having the same stuff over and over and well, over. Well, that's the thing about like our society though. Like we don't have kings, but in a sense we get the same old stuff over and over again. Yeah. At least if I, like if I'm the king and there's all these people around me trying to whisper in my ear. At least at the end of the day, I can demand that they shut up. But in right. America, you can't do that. You have to listen to them because this is a quote unquote democracy. So it, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like no system is perfect. But at least in Westeros, if you want to do good, you have the capacity to demand good. Yeah. But in Essos, in Essos, the people have more power, it seems like. Yeah, well, it seems like every little small turn like Daenerys makes. the masters have more power. Yeah, if she makes but a slight mistake. Do. They're then, coming for her. Head. Yeah, immediately. It's like she right. can't she even has to breathe. Answer them. She has no yeah. room to breathe right. in there. So it's like, I guess, like. But she, in Westeros, you can suck and just be like, kill them all. And people will just start killing them all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then Jamie, like, and yeah, exactly. There's so much loyalty that Jamie murdered the Mad King and has to suffer and be shamed for his whole life. Right. And, I, I and the thing about it is, is if people really knew exactly why Jamie did that, they would understand. But no one's going to know that. The whole point of all this was I really hope Tyrion can find a way to make good decisions for the people of Essos and to help Daenerys. Right. Even though he does have Westerosi, you know, uh, how would you put it? Maybe morals, so to say, or like traditions. Right. He does. He does seem to keep them. Well, he's smart. I mean, he understands human nature like human nature transcends culture you know what i'm saying like and he understands human nature he's smart he's he, he drinks and he knows things so mm -hmm. um man i couldn't be more into it right now yeah. i love seeing daenerys come back i love the big thud we both immediately sort of knew it was the dragons because we just needed some stability so right the dragon queen the dragon mom is has back. entered the chat she is back she guys. is back and yeah she's trolling in the chat right now <laughs> she's ready to go and we'll see what happens there and we'll see what happens Hopefully we get to see Ellie beat some people up. Oh yeah, I'm excited to see her some more. Uh I thought it was funny how much how much present she demanded as such like a little kid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love how when they saw the raven from her, it was like just child handwriting. It was right, so cute. Yeah. It was so cute. It looked like and, she wrote it with crayons. Yeah, like, yeah. And I, I just love I love the person who plays her. I forgot her name. I think it's Bella Ramsey. But I didn't know she was in Game of Thrones like this, and I'm happy about it. I'm just so happy to see her. Right um we probably missed so much guys this show's swinging right now like we talk junk and it's just straight swinging on our heads so <laughs> um hopefully we didn't miss too much i'm sure we did let us know what we missed like comment subscribe hit us up on patreon we got the full uncut link reactions over there you guys already know that we'll see you on the next one